during a pandemic, the nerd community came together to raise an astonishing amount of money for a children's charity, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Welcome, my re-sparked planeswalkers, to the Oathbreaking News. This is where we keep you up to date on MTG and WotC news that affects the community and the format. So, in today's Turn 1 Scoop, I will be discussing the extraordinary results of this year's charity partnership between WotC Hasbro and the Extra Life Charity. I would like to start by approaching this from the original article that went out back on October October 19th. This team up involved Watsi uh, and some of the other Wizards of the Coast brands coming together to offer special products and events in order to raise money for the Extra Life charity, the money this year going to Seattle Children's Hospital. Now the goal for this in this article was $1,300,000. So that's our starting point. Now if you want to read that original article, I'll put the link in the description. Now if you were to say go to the extralife.org page and look at it now, it shows that the Magic the Gathering side of raising money for this charity, our community raised $1,437,635 for this charity. It was raised by 334 members of our community and 48 Wizards of the Coast teams. And I just think that's amazing. I think you might actually still be able to donate, and even if you can, taking some time to donate to the Extra Life Charity is still good. I usually donate to them each year through some different avenues. For next up, I want to bring up the Hasbro website because they had a slightly different announcement of how much money they raised there. When they take the money that was raised for Extra Life by D&D &D as a community and by Magic the Gathering, they actually raised $1.6 million, overshooting their goal by over $300,000. I think that's just really amazing. And if you like supporting charities, especially charities that can affect children, I'd like to go out on a limb here and talk about something a little bit different now. Magic Kids is part of the Weird, Weird Cards Charitable Club. They're the people who created the Oathbreaker format that I love to make content for. And they're constantly doing little charitable events. Their main thing is to take your spare cards and turn them into sortable decks to teach young kids basic math skills and how to play the game and to be used in after school programs so it helps raise some young wizards. Along with that they have partners in other charities in the past to help children so that is one of their main focuses. I'm going to put their link information in the description as well and also please check them out on Twitter. Most of their statements and reviews actually go out there instead of on their main websites. Now that we've talked about the story of the day, tell me what you think in the comments below. I really want to hear about how this makes you feel, but also how you give so that maybe you can help some of our other planeswalkers share their time and money to help the community as well. Speaking of which, you can support the Oathbreaking News content by getting your gaming gear using the links I'll put in the description be below, Patreon, or PayPal me. It really does help out the channel. A quick reminder to the Respark Planeswalkers out there, show your loyalty by subscribing to the channel, and remember, I can't do this without you guys, and I wouldn't. Have a great day.